Alright. A little while back I actually wrote uh, a blog in regards to using dual monitors. And uh, I thought I'd do a video and show you exactly how I use them. So right now I'm going to show you real quick how I can run two applications and separate on each monitor separately. And uh, I can pretty much do a copy and paste. I mean, uh, it's great when you have two monitors that are both exactly the same. You'll get the, uh, uh, the matched color going across. I actually created this custom desktop. It's actually uh, twice as wide as a normal desktop. Um, did it a uh, really cool panoramic in Photoshop. Um, now, uh, let me show you another great little thing. We did a, a cut and paste there, but you can also do a drag and drop too, <clears throat> which is also uh, quite beneficial. I also find I write a lot of my code in full screen mode, uh, so I can actually see it go all the way across. Yeah. But, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to do that. I also have a habit of running virtual machines. Um, Windows 7 right here. And uh, I actually have a version of Windows 3.1.1 running a virtual machine. I actually have all, almost all the uh, window operating systems running in virtual machines on my system here. So, uh, Let's go ahead and take you off. Take the camera off the tripod. And take another application of using dual monitors. You can use this application. You know, you can put the monitors side by side. You could actually, you know, put them uh, up on top of each other. Uh, you notice that we've cloned the screen. You'll notice the start button is on this monitor, and the time and date is over here. And uh, the taskbar actually spans across the complete screen. But, you can actually run two different monitors in different areas. Now, over here, I've got this computer right here. Okay, this monitor is hooked up to this computer. I also have... Uh, couple of boxes over here. Let me just run to you. There's a black box right up here. That is a remote control. In fact, both of these are remote control. Alright, but they're radio frequency. They're RF. So their signals will go through a wall. So, uh, this system is also a dual monitor system too. Um, here's the mouse for it. Here's the keyboard for it. side of the wall here. Out in my living room I I have a, a, a keyboard and a mouse. I also have uh, an old presentation trackball. Um, this is a great little device. It, it's actually one of the uh, devices on the other side of the wall, the radio frequency device. Um, you'll notice I have down here on the floor a four port USB uh, hub and I have a 20 foot repeater cable that strings around behind the, the, the wall there I actually have a couple openings from the previous owner where he had his audio video and big screen TV built into the wall uh, one of these days I'll fill it up and do it right but I actually have the second feed from that computer on the other side of the wall coming to this 42 inch plasma screen TV and yes you can have two or more input devices such as a keyboard and mouse on a computer this computer actually has two keyboards and two mice in two separate rooms with two different monitors so uh, it's quite interesting um, what you can do with two monitors alright <laughs> 